Good morning, Patrick Henry. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Atkinson, and I'm the principal at Patrick Henry School of Science and Arts, and I just want to wish you a happy Friday. Today, we're going to have our first Friday morning meeting for the virtual year. Uh, normally, we have several pieces to a Friday morning, and today we're going to have some of the pieces, but not all of them. It's um, a shame that we can't meet all together in the auditorium, but we can look forward to that when we all get back together um, because it's quite a celebration every Friday. But for this week, it's going to look a little bit different and for the next few weeks. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, parents, students, teachers, and staff. My name is Edison Michelle, and I have been going to Patrick Henry since kindergarten. I would like to talk about starting off right. A time I started out right was virtual school. The way I started out right was that I was prepared. I already had my school email, all my links worked, I had my schedule, and I was participating. But if I wasn't prepared, I would have to get up and go look for stuff if the teacher asked us to get something and could miss valuable information. Keeping your camera on is a good thing because it helps the teacher know that you were paying attention. You, you should also make sure that you are in a quiet place because if you have a lot of distractions around you, you can lose focus and start distracting other students. But it's okay if you aren't in completely prepared. For example, maybe you're not in the most quiet place. That's fine, as long as the noise isn't too distracting. There's a time I didn't start out right. It was a summer vacation, and I had, a, I had to read a chapter book and a packet to go along with it. I didn't want to do it right away, so I procrastinated. I told myself, I'll do it later, until I forgot about it. Then, near the end of the vacation, my mom asked me if I had completed my work. I responded, no. She yelled at me. Then, after that, she said I couldn't watch TV and I couldn't play any video games. I had to go to sleep and wake up at a certain time so I can complete my work before school started. See, if I had started out right by doing my work, all, all that stuff wouldn't have happened. So just make sure if you have anything to do, start off in the right way. Thank you for your time and have a good Friday. There is no one better to be than myself. There is no one better to be than myself. I am enough. I am enough. Oh, I get better every single day. I get better every single day. I am an amazing person. I am an amazing person. Get to know me. All of my problems have solutions. All of my problems have solutions because they do. Today, I am a leader. Today, I am a leader. Take your king and queen crowns and place them on your beautiful heads. Give me a C squad on the count of three. One, two, three. C squad. <laughs>
students, as you're sitting in the classroom right now, um, you can go ahead and clap for your teacher and staff member and also to thank them in your chat or whenever you get a chance to thank them for all of their hard work. They started working on this school year months ago. Um, in the summertime on their own time, they were getting materials together for you guys. They were making lesson plans and meeting and formulating just how are we going to do this virtual year. And I have to tell you, they have all done such a magnificent job. And you all are very fortunate to have such dedicated teachers and staff members at Patrick Henry. They care about you, they love you, and they're working so hard for you. So please give them a big thanks uh, in your own special way virtually. Um, I'd like to thank all the parents, grandparents, family members, friends, anyone who is working with our, our students at home because that's really tough. That is a very hard job and you all are doing a wonderful job. Um, it's not easy, especially if you have more than one student in several different grades. Um, so my hat is off to you all, and I want to thank you all for your dedication. And um, in the midst of it all, you all are so wonderful and grateful to us as a school and our teachers. Um, and I know that you're very appreciative of us, and we love to hear those kudos and get those pats on the back as well. Um, but we're giving you some right now. So thank you for what you're doing at home. You have a tough, tough job. Um, so students, this is for you. We are now finishing up week number five. And so you have learned the ins and outs of Google Classroom. You know how to move from class to class or turn your computer off and have lunch and recess and then come back. Um, so all of those technical things are, are done and you know how to do all of that. So now I'm putting down a challenge for you as students. I would like you now to move to the next level, which is doing your very, very best in the classroom to learn your lessons, to do your work as well as you can, to try as hard as you can, um, and to do everything very, very well and with great quality. Because if you don't do your very best work, then you're not going to be proud of yourself. And, you know, that's where it really is important. So please show us in the next few weeks what you can do. Show us your independence, show us how you can develop as a student and learn and really um, come out of all of this on top. We are so proud of you for what you've learned so far, but we're gonna go even higher. I'm challenging you guys to go higher and higher next time. Um, which brings me to our final piece today, um, which is the coaches. And some teachers have already sent in some coaches for this year. So listen carefully to see if you can hear your name and also to hear what other students are being recognized for. Okay, so that maybe you can emulate that or copy them or try to be um, as, as uh, great as these kids are for doing this hard work. So here we go. This is from Ms. Schwartz. Ms. Schwartz is in fourth grade. She's one of our brand new teachers, and we are so thankful that she's here at Patrick Henry with us. But she is submitting a kacha for Cayman Frisbee, who is a very new student to Patrick Henry this year. He has jumped right into classroom routines, and he has turned in all of his assignments, including ones we completed before he joined the class. He did not have to complete this work, but he did anyway. So Cayman came in a little bit after the first day of school, and not only did he start finishing his regular assignments that he was assigned since his first day, he went back and did assignments that were assigned before he joined the class. That's amazing, and that's showing excellent academic character came in, and we're so proud of you. These are from Miss Coleman, Miss Coleman in fifth grade. Um, and she is teaching math this year. She was fourth grade last year, but Ms. Coleman is fifth grade this year. And um, she has shared with us a video of her class doing a presentation. So while I can't show it right now, you'll be seeing that maybe in another um, piece of this Friday morning meeting. So that has been handed off to someone who will do the technical work on that. And we will be 
um, providing that video of her class. And um, so we want to thank Ms. Coleman for her hard work and know that that will be able to be shared soon with the Patrick Henry community. So thank you, Ms. Coleman. These are from Ms. Um, Payton. Ms. Payton is a longtime teacher at Patrick Henry, and um, she teaches third grade. So she has provided us with these kachas. Adam Bobakaya, Angelica Georgievic, Emma Henke, Messiah Battle, all of you completed your first assigned project within a couple of days of receiving it. This was the first weekend of school. So that was back in the first weekend. Excellent job. Zoe Williams, you're being recognized for showing kindness and patience by allowing another student to take her turn and share first during community circle. Harmony Bradshaw and Amir Connor, you're being recognized today for praising your classmates during small group instruction. You're sharing all of that happiness, which is wonderful, so keep it going. Great job. Miss Payton's class, and this, this came out September 29th from Miss Payton, so I'm sure they're far ahead of this right now. But at that time, her class had read over 425 books in Epic so far. 425 books as of the end of September. I can't wait to hear the updates coming soon. And other teachers, you know, let's make this a competition. Send me your um, number of Epic books every week and we can see who's going to read the most. Um, Ms. Payton's class had read over 100 during the first week of school alone. 100 books in one week just so far, and that is just amazing. Boys and girls, reading is so important, so you have to learn how to read and be the very best reader you can be. Miss Payton, your class is off to a great start. Thank you. All right, finally, we have some kachas from Miss Price, and she is also a fifth grade teacher this year. Miss Price has a lot of kachas, so she must have a very, very special class. Um, Sunny, Max, Oliver, Gianna, Zavi, Jalise, Caitlin, Sebi, and Sophia. All of these students help their friends to navigate through assignments and the Google Meet platform. She is unable to see the students' format for assignments, so they just jumped in and walked their friends through the process. Way to go, Idaho, from Ms. Price. Ms. Price also wants to thank um, Mateo's mom, Ms. Taylor. She jumped in on Wednesday to help him and his friends while online to navigate through creating a document and submitting it to Ms. Price's Dropbox. Ms. Bowen, Ms. Bowen, who is River's mom, has been helping parents navigate their way around class tag. She's a class tag pro. Woohoo for moms! Thank you, ladies. Finally, but certainly not least, from Ms. Price, she wants to thank her amazing team. Mr. Burke is a rock star. Well, we know that. He's a rock star extraordinaire. He worked effortless, effortlessly behind the scenes all day on the first day of school, filming students, helping them navigate through Google Meet to their classes, fixing tech issues, and communicating with parents in the midst of the fog. We couldn't have gotten through the day without Mr. Burke. Rock on, Mr. Burke. Miss Coleman, organizer, aficionado, and tech trainer, I'm personally grateful for Miss Coleman teaching me about the new age stuff. Miss Hamlet is quite the virtual trainer also. Thanks for calming my fears and helping me to become more knowledgeable about the many virtual tools. Fifth grade is awesome, and yes, it is awesome. So thank you all for submitting all of these coaches, teachers, and for our next Friday meeting, I hope that we will have more. Um, and remember, boys and girls, my challenge, we're raising the bar for the next few weeks. You've got all the tech stuff down pat. Now it's time to show us what you know. Work really hard in class, do all your assignments, and make me and your teachers proud of you. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful weekend and we will see you all on Monday. Bye.